Hello, my name is Victor. Grim! And this is my vlog. Today I just wanted to do a little quick video. Something that I learned my Kyoto Sensei, Vice Principal. She taught me this during school lunch and I thought it was interesting so I wanted to share with you guys. So today for school lunch, we had chicken katsu. And for those that you don't know, katsu is basically deep fried breaded whatever. So this is I had chicken katsu, I had deep fried breaded chicken. There's also pork katsu, deep fried breaded pork. There's also sometimes beef katsu, which is deep fried breaded beef. And you basically get the gist of it. So anything katsu, it's usually deep fried breaded whatever. So for today, we had deep fried breaded chicken, which is called chicken katsu. So I was told that the reason why we had chicken katsu today was because tomorrow, at least in my area, in my town, the junior high school students have their high school entrance exams. This is obviously something very stressful. It's not really like American schools. For the most part, you have to take entrance exams to get into high school. So it's really difficult and very stressful. The reason why we had chicken katsu today was to kind of serve as a good luck charm for these students. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does chicken katsu have to do with good luck? In Japanese, katsu also means to win. So the fact that they were eating chicken katsu the day before their entrance exams it kind of motivates them and gets them in that win mentality. So katsu is deep fried breaded whatever and to win. So since they have the same pronunciation, it's play on words I guess. And basically it's eating chicken to win, at least today. But what I also found interesting is that this isn't just applied for tests, it's applied for anything where you kind of want a positive outcome, where you want to win. So my price principal said that whenever there's like a sports festival, whenever there's tournaments or competitions, or anything where you're competing in something and you want to win, it's common in Japanese cultures to have katsu to kind of get them psyched and get them in that win mentality. But it also works in different situations, like if you have job interviews, if you want to win the lottery, I don't know, it, basically anything, I guess. I'm not sure. She didn't really break it down that much into details, but I'm assuming that any time you want to win in something or you want to have a good outcome, just have some katsu. That was all. Just some interesting information I found out today and I wanted to share with you guys. Chicken katsu is very, very delicious. So whenever you have something coming up and you want to have a good outcome, I suggest you have some katsu. Whether it be pork katsu, chicken katsu, beef katsu, or I don't know, whatever katsu katsu. But, you know, just make sure you don't overdose on the katsu because, like I said, katsu is deep fried breaded and that's not really healthy. If you overdose on the katsu, you won't be winning in life if you catch my drift. Because, you know, and heart attacks and, you know, death and, yeah. So, don't overdo it now. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you're interested in more videos, please hit that subscribe button down there. So, yeah, hopefully you stay tuned to my future videos and thanks for watching. Later, guys. Bye. It's Grim, Grim, Grim's Vlog, Grim, Grim, Grim's Vlog, Grim, Grim. Grinch Vlog, please subscribe to my channel now!